Hi there and welcome to another video in our Taking Care of Business series. In a previous video, we examined the pros and cons of structuring your business as a sole trader and a partnership. But in this video, we're going to examine the more complex structures of companies and trusts. Let me say up front, it's almost impossible to recommend a particular type of business structure without an understanding of your business, your industry, your family structure and your financial situation. As such, we always take into account issues like asset protection, tax minimisation, the potential admission of new partners or investors, compliance with all legal requirements and the eligibility for future capital gains tax concessions. In most circumstances, the choice of business structure is a compromise based on the relative importance of each of these issues. The third structure we'll examine is a corporate or a company structure. A company is a separate legal entity, distinct from its shareholders who own the company. Companies are granted legal status to enter into contracts and can sue and be sued. They're governed by the corporation's law, which is administered by ASIC, the Australian Securities Investments Commission. There's different types of companies, but the most common is a company limited by shares. They provide a form of asset protection with limited liability, so the personal assets of the individual shareholders are separated from the debts of the company. A company lodges an annual return and the profits are taxed at a flat rate of tax. At the moment, the flat rate's 30% and has been for a number of years. The fourth type of structure we'll have a look at is a trust structure. Unlike a company, a trust is not a separate legal entity. Instead, it appoints a trustee who is required to undertake all obligations and transactions on behalf of the trust. The role of the trustee carries legal liability for the activities undertaken by the trust. So trustees are often companies to limit that liability. There's several types of trusts, including a discretionary trust or a family trust, where the trustee has the discretion on how the income is distributed each year to the qualifying beneficiaries. They don't have to make income distributions in any set proportion each year, so income splitting is a major advantage. Trusts also provide a mechanism to pass family-owned assets to future generations. Another type of trust in a unit trust is a fixed form of fixed trust, whereby each beneficiary, that is a unit holder, is entitled to trust income and trust property in the proportion to the number of units they own. A trust must lodge a tax return and will only generally pay tax if the net income is not distributed to the beneficiaries. Each beneficiary otherwise will be responsible for the tax in their own right. In summary, your choice of business structure is very important and to make a recommendation, we really need to sit down with you, chat about and discuss the issues like asset protection, tax minimisation and the likely admission of new investors or partners. So if you're looking to start your own business or want to restructure your existing operation, we urge you to consult with us regarding the various types of structures available. Until next time, bye for now.